What's the shootiest part about attending Hogwarts? Watching sporting events that are entirely hidden behind hedges, underwater, or take place hundreds of meters in the air. Also having to shit on the floor. Axio poop knife. Moaning Myrtle sexually harassing you as you're taking a shit or a bath. The toilet's man. Ghosts going through my stall laughing at my dick. Sometimes coming from under the toilet. And what do you know there was a giant ass snake under the freaking bathrooms. Yeah. But they don't call her moaning Myrtle for no reason. JK knew what she was doing. People can steal one of your hairs and turn into you. If someone fucks someone with my appearance did I get laid? Doesn't matter because they aren't gonna find anyone to fuck when they look like you. This comment is the real killing curse. The lack of responsible adults. First years get caught out of their dorm. Send them into the dangerous forest as punishment with the guy who's not supposed to use magic. Host a tournament that young wizards and witches have died in. Include magical contract bullshit so that an inexperienced 14 year old is forced to compete. There are more examples. But these come to mind first. Gradually losing all your muggle friends at home because you can't really contact them. Or being scapegoated as evil at age 11 because you're sorted into Slytherin. Same thing as regular school, group projects, so god and true. Dorms with lots of people and all the toilets and rooms have ghosts so where would you go for a wank? Room of requirement, that's got to be it. I imagine it provides you with an unbelievable stack of porn mags as well. Magazines with moving pictures to boot, reverse boggarts that look like the thing you really want. Harry walks in, there's Cho, Hermione, Ginny, Luna, Ron. Harry walks out. Feeling really confused. The time when the school is like, we are suspending sports for this year so you can all watch 3 or 4 kids have a competition. TBF. I'd trade Quidditch for Dragon Laden Blood Sport any day, so there's a chance everybody involved can die a brutal, violent death. Well, we've taken precautions, but where can I buy tickets? Hagrid actually smells really bad. Okay there, I fucking said it. He probably has literal shit in his beard. Duke doesn't have a shower in his hut. Pranks could be lethal. Have you seen some of the spells these students have available to them? You're a teenager around other teenagers all day to get you good and horny, but you can't rub one out without the pictures, ghosts, and some wizard with a spell or device seeing what you're doing. Maybe I want them to watch. The fact that you are not learning any basic knowledge as we do in muggle schools, like math, English, biology, physics, we might hate it, but it is pretty good to know a thing or two on those subjects. I think that might be partly why magical society has stagnated compared to the muggle world. They just never needed to invent technology. IMO, electricity being wonky around magic doesn't help either, I'd imagine. No Wi-Fi. I'm not a wizard. Getting lost in the stair maze, or being late to class while you wait on the stairs to face the right direction, and getting in trouble for being late because of it. Probably having to use a quill and ink well for writing assignments, like come on you can totally at least upgrade to a pen slash pencil and notebook instead of parchment. Terrible governing, could never live in a world where the government is so useless, doesn't do anything right, doesn't know what's going on, and only cares about PR. If I lived in a world like that I'd, oh wait. The British tabloids keeping a countdown on when you're legally fuckable. Owls flying above the students while they are eating, think of the bird droppings. The fact that once you're assigned a house at age 11, you have to stick with it for the rest of your adolescence. Imagine if you get placed as a Slytherin but your personality completely changes in the next few years. You're basically identified as a pure blood racist kid for all of your youth. That would suck. The fact that so many ordinary things can kill you. There's a random tree somewhere on school grounds that can pummel you to death. There's a step among the thousands of steps that you have to specifically remember. And if you don't endure alone, have fun drowning in liquid stare. You won't learn math. The fact that everyone actually seems to care about this stupid house cup thing every year despite the fact it's obviously just a way to keep us in line. Ghosts, moving portraits, magical animals that are really people. Sounds like snitches to me. That feeling of never really being alone. The fact that love potions are essentially date rape drugs. Dangerous times kids. That after Harry left, 
nothing exciting is gonna happen. Hey, at least there will finally be real competition for the house cup. Watching like half the school die in a huge battle with a bunch of evil wizards probably sucks. If your house win in some game, it will end up to be Gryffindor's victory because they'll get like 10 points for breathing. Sneaking out at night with my girl to go bang in the room of requirement only to find I can't get in because a bunch of assholes are practicing spells or some douche is trying to fix a cabinet. Other people require the room to guys. SMH. The polyjuice potion could seriously hurt someone's image. Going to the financial aid office. That the name of your school sounds like a euphemism for a venereal disease. Probably all those times people are always out to kill you. Basically no privacy when you're trying to sleep, they have curtains on their four poster bed, which is more privacy than some people get in university, hell, I'm doing 6 weeks at a research station next month, which will have 8 people sleeping in one room with bunk beds, and no showers. Oh, I don't know being set aside in spite of earning outstanding in all classes because of Harry fucking Potter, and I was nearly avid a red because, apparently, one life matters more than the rest when Hogwarts went to shite, oh piss off, Saint Potter, patron saint of scarheads. So you got a shit real bad huh? Well the toilets are up the stairs and to the left down the hall, you get halfway up the stairs and boom the stairs now lead to somewhere else. Lots of free range unneutered and unspayed cats, and no vet, the care of magical creatures teacher doesn't seem to be a vet either, oh, and McGonagall turns into a cat, in a place with unneutered free range cats, oh god, next JK Rowling tweet is gonna confirm that McGonagall was a furry. All these answers are superficial annoyances, the shittiest part about attending Hogwarts is that you're indoctrinated into a society that doesn't give half a rat's ass about your safety or rights, as if the building itself wasn't full of enough deadly hazards as it is, like stairs that could crush you every time you go to class, it stores dangerous artifacts people would kill to acquire and... Dark wizards are lured into duke it out on school grounds. Students are forced to participate in ludicrous trials or physically abused by government agents while the faculty watches impassively. In lieu of detention you'll be sent into a forest full of monsters and rappy centaurs. And speaking of rape there's like 5 different over the counter roofie equivalents which are dismissed as harmless teen antics. And to top it off. The curriculum ignores everything that isn't directly related to magic, including things like politics. You could have your soul ripped from your body for breaking laws you've never even heard of. The fanfiction. Imagine reading about yourself in a dramatic, romantic, but poorly written relationship with someone you barely know. The most popular pairing in HP fanfiction after Hermione slash Rock and Harry slash Ginny is Harry slash Draco. Fourth, Harry slash Voldemort. That anyone can kill you at any moment just by using that death spell. I mean, that's just like a gun though. We already have those. The difference is that, at a regular school, a loaded gun isn't a standard school supply that everyone carries with them at all times. Students don't have enough magic to pull off an avidacadabra on a human anyways. Wasn't that also mentioned in book 4? If crab can do it, anyone can. The teachers that just hate you for no apparent reason. This isn't exclusive to Hogwarts. The fact that I still haven't got my letter. Credits are non-transferable. The education you're actually getting does literally nothing to prepare you for the outside world. The unforgivable curses are impossible to defend against. Anyone can read your mind or slip you a roofie at any time. Anyone you interact with could be an imposter. You're still communicating by letters and exchanging physical currency. There are literal slaves cleaning your school. And mistakes in pointless curricula. Matchstick. To needle. Can result in agonizing body horrors. But at least there's a sport in which malevolent high speed. Flying bowling balls are not confined to the court. So there's that. Colin Creeve's first term was spent petrified in the hospital ward. From his muggle father's perspective, I would probably reconsider sending my other son to that school. I'm not the biggest Harry Potter fan, but reading the lore about the other wizarding schools is very interesting. So apparently in the African wizarding school, who are Gidal, they don't use wands cause they can just point their fingers to cast. So I assume those kids are taught like hand to hand wizardry combat, as opposed to Hogwarts students who need wands. Lame. The serious lack of education, 
where is anyone learning critical thinking, economics, health science, innovation, math, you have a bunch of young wizards leaving Hogwarts expected to run the wizard economy, the wizard government, open businesses, etc. But none of these skills are taught at Hogwarts. It's no wonder the wizarding world is so far behind muggles. Muggles invent something and keep improving upon it. Create an industry around it. Pull knowledge and continuously advance. Wizards will see a roof about to fall over and slap dash some magic to prop it up because what are they? An architect. If you ask yourself how much has the wizarding world improved or advanced in the last hundred years. Dark wizards aside. The answer is probably not much. The fact that kids will get insulted so easily and everyone's okay with it. Also having no real time contact with your parents for months at a time. That would suck. Probably the heat isolation. There's a fireplace here and there but there's no heating whatsoever. Winter probably sucks. Being expected to write essays without proper English classes. Probably the three little shits that keep bringing doom and death everywhere with them that it's still a school. Whatever happens throughout the year you can still pass or fail. You are expected to go to class and do homework and take tests. You have been visited by the smart studying doggo. You'll be blessed with good grades only if you subscribe to comment awards and like the video. PG. On top, food chain, won't stop, new game, boss box hey. that blue haze, hey. one lot, two chains, hey. no bras, two bays, hey. mic drop, hey. new stage, hey. lights in my rear view, five cops, full race, faster than a Tesla, they say I'm exhausted.